Hello guys, welcome to Steve Knows. Today, I'm going to show you that the Oculus Quest can be so much more than just a virtual reality gaming console. Since this is portable and standalone and you can take it anywhere in the world, perhaps it would be nice to stick some of our favorite games onto this headset as well so we can play them anywhere also. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up SideQuest in under a minute, I believe. It's super, super easy, super, super quick. And this will allow you to put games such as Among Us, Call of Duty Mobile and GTA San Andreas onto your Oculus Quest headset. There are a couple of ways of putting games onto the Oculus Quest that work slightly differently. So for Among Us, it's not a big game. It's just simply an APK file. I'll show you how to do that. But for bigger games like Call of Duty, Ark Survival, GTA San Andreas, those kinds of console like games, it works slightly different. So I'm gonna show you that as well. This process works for the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2, but I will be using the Oculus Quest 1 because for capturing footage to show you guys, for some reason, I was unable to do so on the Oculus Quest 2. But for the Quest 2, because of the additional headroom, these games do look much better and play better on the newer headset, just to bear in mind when you're watching some of the gameplay. And since the Oculus Quest, you can pair a gamepad, it allows you to play these console-like games as if you were actually playing on a console, but instead you're gonna have a massive, huge screen in virtual reality to play in anywhere in the world. I've put some skits for each of the games as well. I hope you enjoy. So I think enough chin wagging. Let me show you how to do this. Let me show you some gameplay. Let's get started. So first things first, we need to set up side quest and enable developer mode so we can actually do this. So here's how. So let's install SideQuest. You just go to this website. I put a link down below in the description. You want to choose one of the three options, Windows, Mac, or Linux, depending on what you're on. That will download SideQuest, and that's the application done. You then need to create an organization. So click the link, and it will take you to a new page. And you need to just create a new organization, put in any old name. Then hit Submit. Then approve the agreement, thanks for your salt, and then wait for the pend. Once that's done, you need to install the drivers. You only need to do this if you're on Windows. So click the link, agree to the agreement, download the drivers. Once they're downloaded, simply just extract them and then follow the file path like I'm doing here. And you want to right click this file and click install. One final thing to do, developer mode. So go to your mobile phone, go to settings, connect to the Oculus headset that you're trying to enable go to more settings, developer mode, and then enable it so it's blue. I'm turning it off and then back on again. Next, you must plug in your quest into the computer and unlock the force of developer mode. Where to find these APKs and these OBB files, you can actually get them off your mobile phone if you've got an Android phone, if you download them and then transfer the files or if you want to transfer your save, that's a way of doing so. But for those of you that perhaps don't own any of the games or you don't own an Android phone to do that, you can search the web and I'm sure, I'm sure you can figure it out. So starting with Among Us, one of the most simple games that you can play that's incredibly addictive and because it has this kind of touch kind of gameplay where you just touch a screen and it will walk around or you just press to do some sort of action in game. It works incredibly well on the Oculus Quest when you're using it in the headset with the touch controllers or even hand tracking if you want to. So on the Oculus Quest 1, it's not as clear. On the Oculus Quest 2, it's incredibly, incredibly crisp. So please bear that in mind when watching this. And what I like about this game as well, if lots of your friends have this on the headset, you can have a party chat going inside the Oculus Quest and then you can just lie down on the floor or in bed if you wanted to and just simply point and click and play. I am, I do enjoy that. So to install Among Us, make sure the headset's plugged in, SideQuest is open, and simply drag and drop the APK file into SideQuest and it will install it on your headset. It's that easy. Right, so the quality on the Oculus Quest 1 is not as good as the Oculus Quest 2, but it's the only way that I could record this to show you guys, because for some reason, this method wasn't working on the Oculus Quest 2 and a bunch of others that I had tried, but you, this will give you the gist of it. See, so you can do how you normally play, just click online, uh, host a game if you want to host a game, 
Um, and you can then just have a party chat. If all of your friends got it on their quest, you can then have a party chat in your quests and play together in this mode. So we just go public. Let's just find a game. Let's, let's, go, let's go. There are two settings. You can have an analog stick and, and some extra buttons on the side, but you can just point and run. It's probably the best way to play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Someone, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Let's go, let's do our tasks. What have I got to do? Oh, four of them. All four of us went. Was it the imposter? Were they caught out? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. We did it, guys. So next is Call of Duty Mobile, which on the Oculus Quest 2, you can play with the highest graphics and the highest frame rate available. On the Quest 1, you can't do that, it doesn't run as well, so you do have to reduce some of the settings. But pairing this with a gamepad is incredibly fun, definitely gives you an edge, and it feels like you're just playing Call of Duty back on like the Xbox 360 days. It's so, so good, and it definitely gives you an advantage having the gamepad and a huge screen to play it on. Not today, not today. Hey mum. Right, so this time we're going to set up Call of Duty. It kind of works in a very similar way, but this time we need to upload an OBB file instead of just an APK like we did with Among Us. So in side quest, just as before, drag and drop the APK file so it will install it onto your headset. Once that is done, you want to go to the directories within SideQuest, go to the Android directory, and then OBB. We then need to make a folder called com.activision.callofduty.shooter. Sometimes when you get the OBB files, these directories already exist, but for this one it did not, so I had to create it. You then want to go within that folder and drag and drop the OBB file into it. This will upload it into that file directory on your Oculus Quest. And once that is done, it's easy as that. Let's dive into the headset. So the Bluetooth controller is connected and we're going to play Call of Duty. This PlayStation 4 controller works for the Quest 1. It didn't work for the Oculus Quest 2, so you may need to get a different kind of controller and hope that it's compatible. So instead of going to unknown sources for Call of Duty, you want to go to Oculus TV and then here it is under channels. Open up Call of Duty, the lights dim down, and it gives you a huge screen in front of you in order to play this game, which is brilliant. So you can just focus on the big screen. Instead of playing on a small mobile phone, you get a big one, and you get a remote control to play with as well. It then asks you to sign in. If this is your first time playing Call of Duty Mobile, I do recommend perhaps using a different device and getting through the training process because you can't use the joypad until you've gone through the training process and it's kind of lengthy and annoying. Hey, look at this. This is the, uh, I think it's the, this is the Royale room. Boom, 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 boom. Play kaboom. Old school retro arcades to play. <laughs> I saved them. I saved us all. You will not let these land. So there's a battle royale mode as well. So if you, you're into your battle royales, Call of Duty Battle Royale. Or there's a multiplayer match as well. This is obviously a nice little lobby. So let's get into a game. Let's play it. Let's play a game. I got him before he died. Damn you! Blimmin' nade launcher. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Just naded from the side. Woo! 
victory! Oh yes! And finally, probably one of the most favorite, most infamous Grand Theft Autos is San Andres. This is such a good game, loved by all. I love the BMX that made it for me when I first started playing it. It's just kind of drilled into my head. So this is a loved game and you can play this on your Oculus Quest in a big screen with a gamepad as well. So with San Andres as well, you want to pair a gamepad. If you have one lying around, a PS4 one works, but the buttons don't map to what you expect, but all the buttons are there. If you, I've used an RK game Bluetooth remote and the mapping is perfectly fine, but you can make adjustments in game as well. So for this one, again, just like Call of Duty, go to Oculus TV, channels, and there it is, San Andreas. It's gonna be a throwback for some people, isn't it, for sure. Hey, I would love a motorbike officer. Let's go! Woo! Excuse me, sir. Can I just have a look at your vehicle? Something is uh, not quite right. Thanks. Off to CJ we go. Oh, he's just. Oh, he's, he's off-roading it. He doesn't care. He cares a bit. He needs the road. Oh, the crew's rolling. I see the policeman running after us in the background. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's all about the BMX ride. This is what I loved about San Andres when this came out was the bicycles. I love it. Let's go. Whoa. What have I done? Hey, circle round. Hey, hey. So that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. I hope this has got you really excited to go pick up your Oculus Quest. Go put as many games as you can possibly find on there so you can play virtual reality anywhere in the world and also some of the most beloved titles in the gaming industry that are playable on Android. Not all of them work because you do have to be connected to the Google services for some games such as Asphalt. I know it's a driver game that people love, but that requires you to be connected to Google services and those titles will not work. So it's kind of hit and miss. You'll have to try a few, but go and enjoy. So please subscribe to the channel, join the Oculus Quest giveaway. Happy gaming guys. Good day.